Good afternoon. My name is Solomon Paul Stevenson. Today I will be conducting a persuasive paper on think and just don't do it, having to relate to smoking. Think and just don't do it. Picture yourself coughing chronically and without being able to get relief. Close your eyes right now and take a second and close your eyes. Follow my commands. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and now gradually exhale. You are simulating difficulty in blowing air out of your lungs. How many of you are smokers or occasional smokers? Even if you smoke or not, you have all heard about what smoking can do to your body. My plea today is not for you to quit smoking, but for you to give it a second thought before you light it up. In addition, if you are not a smoker, I urge you today not to ever, ever smoke. Before you smoke, think and just don't do it. Today I will begin by talking about some causes of smoking, and then I will talk about some of the consequences of smoking, followed by ways that can help you to stop. According to a comprehensive adult basic education curriculum on smoking funded by the Massachusetts Department of Public Health, adults who smoke do so because of stresses they feel in everyday responsibilities, such as work and home. Individuals smoke in order to relieve stress and they take the edge off. When they light up and take the first puff, there's a sense of relief. The same curriculum states that individuals who start smoking in their teens did so because they saw their parents do it and they mimic what they saw. Now, they formed a lifelong habit that has proven difficult to stop. The next reason I would like to discuss is peer pressure. School-aged school children find themselves powerless against the crowd pressuring them to take a puff. In order to save face and seem cool, they give in. And every time they're with friends, they smoke just to fit in. Now, in adulthood, it's an, it's an addiction that's hard to break. Then you have those who smoke to lose weight. Smoking takes away their appetite, therefore allowing them to shade some unwanted pounds. Regardless of the reasons of why people start smoking, that results in the same addiction. It becomes an addiction because of a chemical called nicotine. Once the chemical gets in the bloodstream, your body will automatically demand more of it, just like a drug. The dangers of smoking are alarming. Harmful chemicals from cigarettes and its smoke can cause cancer and other serious health problems and even death. The well-known cancer associated with smoke is lung cancer. However, there is also throat cancer and oral cancer. Studies <clears throat> have even shown that smoking also ages you faster. <clears throat> the Center for Disease Control states that other health problems are lung diseases where a person can suffer from chronic bronchitis where you cough chronically and emphysema where you can breathe in normally but it's difficult to breathe out. Think again and just don't do it. WebMD lists heart effects, heart effects from smoking. The, arteri the arterias that carry blood to the heart become too narrow. It increases blood pressure and it makes you more susceptible to blood clots. For men, the issues in blood flow can cause erectile dysfunction, a very unwanted side effect. And so I would urge you again, so think and just don't do it. The CDC lists health effects in women who smoke as causing fertility problems. Women smokers have a difficult time getting even pregnant. And when they do, the chances of mis when they do, the chances of miscarriages are even increased. Women who smoke while pregnant run the risk of premature birth and babies carried to term may have low birth weight. Think and just don't do it. If you find yourself among the smokers today, where do you go from here? Quit smoking is proven to improve your health. Now, who doesn't want to be healthy? If you quit for 24 hours, the risk of you having a heart attack starts to decrease. After 10 years, you are not as likely to get lung cancer. With odds like those, why not make up your mind that you will take a step to improve your health and live? Quitting is possible. Several products exist to assist you in your journey. The most important thing is to purpose, is to purpose not to smoke. You have to make a decision now. And as long as you're convinced that it will be your last puff or drag, then it will. However, if you're unsure about quitting, the chances of your success are very, very slim. You don't really stop doing something unless you really want to. But if you're ready to stop, try to replace the chemical you are addicted to to nicotine. 
If you replace the nicotine with gum, patches, or lounges, you will increase your chances of success. You can also have medication pre prescribed to you by the doctor to help with your cravings. Exercise more to help with nicotine cravings. When you feel like a cigarette, go for a jog instead. The key is not to give up and don't give in cold turkey. I have just explained some reasons why people smoke, the consequences of smoking, and ways they can help you quit smoking. The next time you go to light it up, think and don't do it. If you find yourself stressed, do something else. Talk with a family member. Go out for a job. Go riding in the vehicle. If you're contemplating to start this addictive habit, again, I urge you, think and don't do it. Thank you. And this has been a persuasive paper on the consequences of smoking. Think and just don't do it. Thank you.